I'm Jason Siegert from Hillsborough, North Dakota. I've been farming in Hillsborough, started with my father in 1981. Been farming there ever since. We raise sugar beets, corn, wheat, and soybeans. We've raised some edible beans over the past two. Um, so that's kind of where we're at. We run about 4,500 acres. I believe the first precision products we we bought um, from Randy Clayson, um, I believe about 11 years ago. It was a it was just a simple 2020 and an ESET disc and ESET plates. Uh, bought them, was amazed with them. Actually, bought enough seed for 110 acres and seeded like 108. Never done that before in my entire life. So obviously we were getting placement where we really wanted them. Back in the day. If you, you bought beet seed, you bought at least 10% more than what you needed, and you might have to buy a little bit more after that because the, the planters were adapted to beets. They weren't made for beets. They were soybean and corn planters, and Precision had done a really nice job with making this plate, and we kept using it. Uh, we expanded and started buying other technology from them. We uh, did some airbags, controlled the airbags with the uh, Air Force. Um, we ended up jumping into V sets now, and Delta Force. A couple years ago, or a year ago, we uh, we split the planter in half, and we used uh, Delta Force on one half and Air Force on the other, and saw a drastic, a drastic improvement in uh, tonnage. I average 1.2 tons or 1.3 tons an acre across 950 acres of the farm. It kept going and going, and I mean, we saw three and four tons on spots. Uh, only one test did we did we show a negative on it. So I mean, it was it was unbelievable. And that year was a fairly dry year, so we didn't think there was going to be as much effect with the down down pressure. But it, it it proved to be real. So the next year we went out and we kept purchasing products. We uh, went to the V set. We went to the Delta Force on the whole planter. I mean, if we're out there planting 63,000 seeds about a 4.7 inches, 4.6 inches apart, we're having those seeds out there. We've done stand counts and walked fields and looked at it and counted seeds, and we're getting 90% up. Well, 90%, you know, we only have probably 93% germ in a, in a beet seed. It's, it's crazy what we can do, what we can see. I mean, when we're, we're driving in the beet lifter or the beet topper and you're driving along and you can see beets constantly just about touching all the way down the field, that's an optimum stand. It's, it, and we, we just see that time and time again. And there's no late risers that come up together even. It's really worked well. And by having that efficiency to be able to get that done on time, you can work with your moisture in your field. Well, this past year, we our, our yields I mean, it was the best crop we've ever had in our life on our farm. We, we averaged 36 and a half ton across 1,100 acres. It was insane. Sugar was a little bit down. We had a lot of moisture this fall. Um, we had a lot of, lot of nitrification happening, so the, our sugar content was down. We had a very hydrated beet. Um, we still ended up averaging over average for the, for the Red River Valley American Crystal. So we believe that we're with our stands and we're getting that, we're getting it, we're being able to stay above the sh average sugar content for the Red River Valley. So with that, we, we can see some definite difference. I mean, if you're out there and you're looking for other planter, planter stuff, technology is everything. We're, we're variable rating, we're doing all kinds of things in our farm that we never thought we'd ever do. And we're seeing an advantage on everything. It's just, it's a good product, they got good support. Um, they're great guys to work with. If you got a problem, you do a snapshot, you send it in to, the, to, the, to Tremont, and bang, it's back. It's unbelievable. They do a nice job. So I'm sold on it, as you can tell. <laughs>